Hello Airsoft fans and welcome to another video from Paraplays. As you can see on screen down there, we're back up at Proving Grounds in Selby and wow, what a day. The heavens opened up, it sailed it down, but that didn't stop the majority of players on the field getting out and enjoying it. And as you can see here on screen, over 120 players registered for this game, so it was busy. Meaning, no more running around like an idiot because you can literally get shot from everywhere. I've learned quite a lot from today. You're best off being a dirty little flanker. So, in this video, I'm probably going to split this video up into probably two, maybe three separate videos. In the first one, we'll actually go in and we'll have a little look around the field at some of the weapons and the kit that people are wearing. And we'll also have a little look around the actual starting area. And we'll have a look at, again, some of the weapons and the kit that everybody's got in there. For a second or third video, I'll probably break it up into a couple of different attacks. I seem to have had a problem with the GoPro, especially in the first part of the morning. Everything's super overexposed and bleached. Don't know what's that about. I haven't changed any settings on the GoPro. But overall, anyway, it was a fantastic day today. Learned quite a lot today about a different aspect and things that I want to change personally myself. But anyway, let's jump in and have a look at some of the kit. And I'll, I'll explain now some of the kit that I've got that I'm going out with. And again, some of the bloody issues with that visor. God! So this is the kit that I actually went out with today. We've got the baseball cap. We've got the Comtax on, which are the ear defenders that have batteries in them that allow you to be able to hear things really close at a distance, even though you've got defenders on. I've also got the low pro goggles on, but as you can see on screen, foggage. Cannot work out how the best solution, to be honest with you, to sort this out. If I stand still and be sneaky beaky with these on, no fog whatsoever. As soon as I start running around, I'm in steam hell. It's terrible. So whether it's fans or spray, I just don't bother. I don't know what to do. I'm also taking a couple of smokes out, some Enola gear smokes. I'm not really, if I'm honest, that impressed with these. Yeah, they're, 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 they're all right for the field and they add a little bit of interest. But not that. They don't last long enough, really. Also got a dump pouch on at the back. We've got the low profile attack vest. We've got our trousers from Go Outdoors. You don't need to be spending all the proper stuff. These are waterproof. These are Montane. Brilliant trousers. Love these. Also got the GTX 4D boots on. And as you can see, here's the Warthog. Lovely. She's had a respray. She's had a few little gubbins on there. And she's also got a Titan. Is it not a Titan X? Uh, a Titan card, basically, in there. Now it squirts BBs out like a... So now you know what I'm wearing, what clothing I'm wearing. As you can see on screen, very tactical, very Gucci. If you've seen the previous video on that flashlight, it worked most of the time today. And the rest of the time, got to keep wiggling that wire. But it is what it is. So here you can see on screen, got the hood up, trying to get super tactical and hiding in the bushes when it was raining. Not many players out, I'm just trying to avoid getting shot. So let's jump in and have a look at the opening area where everybody gets changed. Let's call it HQ. Let's go back to HQ and we'll have a little sniff around there. And then what we'll do is we'll get out onto the field. We'll have a look at all the clothing and some of the weapons that the people are wearing out there. And we'll say hello to a few people on the field. And that'll be the end of this first part of the video. So here we are. There's Mr. Mr. Steve, Mr. Anglo-Saxon, with his beautiful Scar H, absolutely brand new. It is beautiful. He's got a massive sight unit on the top of there. It's really nice, is that weapon. I think I shall be partaking in a Scar H at some point. So as you can see, there are lots of different weapons here. There's a Pro Arms down there, Octo Pro Arms, which is what my DMR is. Oh, a lot of these weapons here... Probably you're going to be able to say, that's a 516, that's a 416, that's a this, this, this. A lot of the weapons, I actually don't know what they are, but that's part of the coolness. As you can see, there's an M4 there, HPA M4 over there. I think this is Dave's shotgun. I'm not quite sure. I think that's um, gas blowback. The Russians are here. Yeah, quite a lot of guys running around as the Russians. Quite fun today, seeing them all stick together as a team. I don't know if that is that an M24 that's been updated there? Possibly. Again, if you know what these are, do let me know. Now, this guy on the right, I love his setup. He looks like Marsock. I think he's got that outfit. Absolutely crack on. Well done, lad. Well done to you. And I think down here, is this an M4 down here? M4s everywhere. No, it's not. Is that 416? Possibly. Who knows? As you can see, a lot of, what tends to happen is that groups of lads will come in together and they all end up looking the same. Really cool. 
adds to that team play. Looks like we've got an SAS Ninja in there. As you can see, as we come further down here, past the toilets, we've got everybody still registering, even though there's 120 players here today. Absolutely brilliant. Lots of things in here. Looks like he's got a little bit of a ghillie suit on. I think that's, is it a Jack Pyre? Once you lay down in the bushes with that, you cannot see them. As he's eat down here, all sorts down there. That looks like a battle rifle he's got down there. We'll have a look at that on the field and a little bit later in this video. As we come round here, who do we see? It's the usual character. It's Big Dave from Patrol Base. Are you in all my videos, Dave? So as we come past down the cafe, they've now got this new sort of stall where they do second hands. So if you need any extra pouches and things, which I may actually get some more ammo pouches, going through seven mags today like nobody's business. Now I've got full auto squirting them out on the Warthog. It's just too much fun. So as we come back round, we'll come straight back up to our setup. And what we'll do now is we'll jump straight onto the field and we'll have a little sniff around at some of the players who are playing today, all 120. Well, I can't cover all 120, but you get the idea. We'll have a look, look around at some of the good stuff. Let's get going. About two hours left. And as usual, in most of my videos, I go around and we have a look at some of the players on the field, some of the kit, some of the weapons. I can live news report, as it were. So here we are, we're gonna have a look down here and hopefully the GoPro doesn't get shot. Some knobhead will probably think it's funny to shoot me. But let's get down here and have a look. Some of the kit, some of the weapons, and we might even get a shot of a ginger marshal. And there he is. All the photographs that you've seen on the Facebook website is by this man here. All right, you girl. Shows up other, other fields as photographers by quite a lot if I don't big him up too much. It's kind of hard not to say you're hit when you get hit by a bloody tent. If I dare go in here without getting the GoPro twatted, we should... Jesus. Somebody shot me on the hand. Marshall, come in in. Guys, right, straight through that window, yeah? End window, straight through it. There's about three or four gathering. Okay. Here we are in a close quarters area. A flashbang hand grenade. So here we are in one of the close quarters combat areas and you'll see in the second video I'm going to upload it gets rather busy in here, rather quite aggressive. Now you're actually supposed to only use a single fire in and out of here because of the ranges we're using but a lot of people don't do that as you can see there's a is it Daniel Defence gun down at the bottom down there, he'll be squirting them BBs out like, like a good one. So that is something to consider and what really amazes me is that a lot of these guys haven't got mouth protection on. Now I got shot in the head later in this video and I had a bloody migraine. It was smack bang in the centre like a Hindu spot and it went bonk. I actually had it bonk off my skull and it hurt like a good one. So come on guys, protect your teeth, especially in this sort of uh, environment because at the ranges and the FPS we're shooting, it will knock them out. Not that I really need to make a big thing of this, but that girl on the left, yes, it's a woman. Fantastic. There are not enough females in this sport. It really is a sport for everybody. Don't think you have to be some sort of big, muscly bouncer like that bloke running around. You certainly don't. It's just as fun as paintballing. So if you want to get in and have a go, hire an Uzi, get some clothing, get out and have some fun. It really is for everybody. So let's move further up down onto the field here. Mind you, this is actually quite late into the afternoon. There's only a couple of hours left on the field. A lot of players. The enthusiasm, the, what should we say, the energy levels start to die a little bit. But here we go. We're going to move up. This is a marksman here. Let's see what he's got. I don't know if that's an M24. Nice weapon, sir. Thank you. Very nice. You a dead man walking or you just injured? Oh, there's no yeah. around here, is it? Yeah, all right. Dead man walking. Now let's have a look over here, what else we've got. What weapons have we got over here? We've got an M4. A Is that an M4 Warthog? Uh, CM16, but modified to DMR. Nice, and over here what we have. We have a pussy sniper? I'm only joking. Oh. I'm only joking. Nice. Striker. I'm putting this up on YouTube, so if you oh, want to cool. see yourself, it should be up yeah. tomorrow. There it is. Up under uh, Paraplays. Oh, we've got some more over here. We've got somebody 
clacking away over here like Donald Duck. Don't understand why people put these loud, these loud things on the weapons. It just gives you position away. Terrifying close quarters. Now let's see what we've got over here. We've got a ninja and we've got a Wookiee. There's a white guy behind you, behind you, behind you! It's a bit racist, that isn't way. it? I think, Go yeah. <laughs> Turn around, that way! Shoot the white guy! Fuck's sake. <laughs> Hello. Look at this, look at this. It's just like, what the fuck are you doing? The guy just ran behind you. Hey! Hello. Hello. Is that hey, a gooched up M4? Sorry? Is that a gooched up M4? It is a gooched up M4. We love M4. You like it? Yes. Sorry, isn't Every it? M4 is really? delicious. <laughs> oh, look at this. You don't see many AKs on the field. Nice. Uh, we've got a, a pussy sniper down here. Hey. Oof! Did he eat a tree or did your head make a really loud sound when he hit that then? He like oh, right, yeah. it, <laughs> These guys look like they know what they're doing. So many times on the field, you have actually have these same discussions. Everybody really wants to double the power of the airsoft weapons. Yep. It's so frustrating that you can't hit people at range. You just want to... You, you see them and you can't get to them. It's, oh, if only you could double the range on these, it would completely change the sport. And if we're using live rounds, I think every single person on this field will be dead instantly. Now, there's, you've got, what, four guys here up against this tree. This guy looks like he's just... He looks a little bit lost, the poor fella. Um, one grenade thrown down from that right hand side will take you all out, so don't bunch up too much, spread out a little bit. Although, a lot of new players on the field, we all learn, and it just comes down to experience. Looks like a war dog. Hey! Good shot! Is that L96? What, what is it? You rifle, what is it's it? It's an M24. M24. Hey! Yeah. Oops. And we've got a ninja over here. Rocking a... That's not an M4, what's that? G24. Oh, Alright, yeah, nice. It's only when you hear them firing away like that, you just think, God, I know there are these kits coming out where you can put an amplifier on the sound to make it sound like real gunshots, but it, there's nothing we can do about it. This is the sport, you know, uh, the legislation are trying to reduce the FPS, not increase it, the idiots. You know, it's always people who are not involved in the sport, got nothing to do with it, always stick their nose in it and spoil it for everybody else. This guy, I like his outfit. He's obviously been going prone, he's got dirty knees. Nice little close quarters weapon there. Again, don't know what that is. I thought he had big bushy eyebrows then, but it looks like he's eye protection. <laughs> Lots of different things on the field. There is a group, there's even a guy sneaking in here. Look down here. There is even a group of four guys, as I mentioned earlier, as the Russians. So you'll see, if I can find the clip, them running across the field, shouting away. Absolutely brilliant. So that guy's just got shot in the forehead by the looks of it. So while I've not actually covered any Milsim games as yet, I need to get all the multiple cameras set up. It would be great up here up at Proving Grounds if they just said one day, do you know what, let's do terrorist versus, you know, US forces or a PMC, something like that. That really would be great. You would you can get rid of the armbands then, because today it was one team had the white armbands and the other one had green. A little bit unfortunate here. And if you ever want to have a tactical dump like this guy, well now you know where to go. Looks like you're having a dump. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got a full round up. By the way, you are giving away my position. You're right. <laughs> I shall move away. Right 
wasn't as many guys dressed up in the old PMC outfit, which is kind of a little bit like what I'm wearing. You don't need to be tied into a certain look or feel. You could even play on the field with a pair of jeans if you wanted to. Everybody tends to go for either Russian or full-on military gear, as you can see. I think this is Saxon here with his... Scar hitch, yes, beautiful. I don't know about the little ribbon on the end, that kind of like <laughs> it takes all the aggressiveness out of it. But anyway, obviously run out of these uh, medical band. Hit. So there you have it. That's just a little quick sniff around on the battlefield, just showing you some of the players on there. If you're not on the video, I do apologize. I can't cover everybody. It was literally just an idea. I'll go around with the GoPro, have a look at a few different people down there. As you can see, there is a huge amount of people down there. So that's going to be the end of this video. In the next video, I'm going to upload from today's game. It'll be one or two videos having a look at a couple of the attacks again it's kind of difficult with just one gopro my other camera is not working right and the small camera i'm having a lens changed on it so plus the, the exposure problem i don't know what's going on with the gopro if anybody knows protunes was on turned it off no difference so that's what we're going to be doing we'll have a look at an attack of a compound where somebody threw in a flashbang and then boom and well almost needed to change me undies and the second one when the gopro battery almost ran out i decided to Push the charge. I thought, what have I got to lose? Um, we ended up taking the bridge back. So this is what happens. It's almost like, you know, like a goldfish turd. As soon as one goes, the rest of it follows. I think you'll know what I mean if you've seen a goldfish having a turd. What are you talking about, Para? No idea. Turds and goldfish. You get the idea. But that's going to be it for this video. Great playing with anybody and everybody that was there. Rain or shine. Everybody enjoyed it. Fantastic. More players, the better. And every time I go up, it's different. One thing I will say as well at this point, what I actually learned today is, apart from being a dirty flanker, I'm actually going to be taking the sight unit completely off the weapon and just use iron sights. I just don't use it. It either fogs up or you can't see down it properly and they never go where you want them to. These are not real rounds. Even though you can change the hop up and all this, they never go in the same place. Not really. So I'm actually going to take it off because what I'm tending to do is I'm firing and actually looking at where the BBs are going. I'm not using the sight unit. I don't know if this is true for other players out there, but that's how I've been playing. C'est la vie. Anyway, I've been Paraplays, and this has been Patrol Base. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in another video coming some soon. And if you hit the little bell symbol down here on the actual page, you will get an update every time Uncle Para uploads a Milsim Airsoft PC game that might take your interest. You'll help me out and grow the channel. Thanks for watching. I shall see you on the battlefield. Bye-bye. You are dismissed.